Now, both of the girls are survived by their parents, grandparents, and some siblings. Those family members were at the church today. Fox 59's Max Lewis picks up our coverage now with reaction from those relatives tonight. Max. This is the moment the families have been waiting for for nearly six years, but they acknowledge today that this painful journey that they have been on for so long is still far from being over. Libby's grandparents, Mike and Becky Patty, say today doesn't feel like they thought it would. I've always said that I would be screaming on the rooftops, but we're not. It's, it's sad. Sad because their lives for five and a half years have been consumed by the search for the killer. And now the question is, what to do now? We're all just kind of feeling our way and figuring out what our purpose is now. They're also facing a harsh reality that Richard Allen was living amongst them the whole time. I don't know the, gen the, the gentleman personally at all, you know, so I've probably seen him, but, you know, it's a small county, you know, but uh, definitely don't, I don't know him. One of the most chilling revelations was that Becky said Allen, who worked at a local CVS, had printed off pictures for the girls' funeral, leaving the family to wonder, how did nobody know? Do you think there's anybody in this town that knew about this and kept their mouth shut? I don't know. That would be speculation, really. I mean, what do you think? It's a small town. Sure is. As for what they'd like to say to Alan in this moment? I'll save those words when I see him face to face. The Patties say now that they have their guy, the hard part begins. They don't just want an arrest, but a conviction. I just know that there's another job, another hill for us to climb ahead of us, but we're up for the challenge. And we're going to keep after it. Anna Williams, the mother of Abby Williams, was here today but didn't want to say anything before she left the church. The Patty family, though, still wants to emphasize that they want to do everything they can to help the investigators as this investigation is still ongoing. And they are asking anybody who might know anything to still give those tip lines a call. It is still open. The number is 765-822-3535. In Delphi, I'm Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. Okay, Max, thank you so much.